Hi, and welcome to Vermilion Lane. I'm so glad that you guys joined us today because we're going to be making one of our favorites, apple pie. What do you guys think? Yeah. Awesome. Pretty good. So you're probably wondering who are these fellas I have with me today. I have Chemical and Sabotage from the absolutely fabulous YouTube channel, Chemical Sabotage, aka my really wonderful sons. Um, I really hope that you'll check out their channel where you'll also see a version of this video as well as a whole lot of really cool science videos. But for now, let's get started. What do you say guys? Yeah. So Chemical, as he likes to call himself because he's a mad scientist, has already chopped up a whole bunch of beautiful apples. We actually went apple picking a few days ago and we were able to get what kind of apple sabotage? Fuji. Fuji apples. Chemical, I was talking to Sabotage for that one. Yes, we got Fuji apples and we already happened to have Granny Smith apples at home. So we peeled the apples, we sliced the apples up and then just sort of chopped them into a rough sort of one inch chop so that they cook nicely down in our pie. Also, we've got brown sugar, we've got white sugar, we've got butter, and we've got a little bit of cinnamon. And I really like the container that you chose, Sabotage. It's really cool, it kind of reminds me of their science videos. So we're gonna get started first with our butter and apples because we wanna make sort of a brown butter caramelly sauce that's gonna be delicious in our apple pie, but we actually have to get started on the stove top with that first. Okay, so chemical, perfect job on melting our butter. If you'd hold onto that pan so it doesn't slide around on us while Sabotage pours the apples inside. We're gonna pop in a quarter of a cup to a half a cup of brown sugar. Okay, so, Chemical, if you'd give us a nice dash of cinnamon. cinnamon. We're going to give a quick sprinkle of just a dash of salt. So that first tablespoon of flour has been in there, we're going to add another. Time for the messy part, guys. I'm gonna pour this on and you guys just spread it out. Try not to make too much of a mess. <laughs> Yay. I think that's about perfect. What do you guys say? Yes. yes. Now we've allowed our pie crust to sit out for about five, 10 minutes. And this is ready-made pie crust. And as much as I love to make my own food, pie crust is such a jam to make and it just makes much more sense to go ahead and buy it from the grocery store. And if you wouldn't mind chemical putting your hands in the flour, there you go. And then just flouring up our rolling pin for us. Pop it right in the middle. And then you actually roll out away from yourself and then back in the middle and then toward yourself. Excellent, perfect. We've got a nine inch pie pan. So I think you're looking pretty good. Maybe come out in this direction. Beautiful job, perfect. I'm gonna let that get right inside. And if you guys can push that down without breaking it, I would be most grateful. We're gonna set this aside actually in the fridge while we work with our top crust. Middle out, middle out, middle out, excellent. What do you guys think? Cutting a few pumpkins out. Okay. Okay, and we're gonna leave it there and I'll show you guys what we're gonna do with it. Okay, just kind of shake it around and then pull upward once you've got a nice cut. And just kind of once you're all the way down, give it a quick push around. Perfect. Chemical, if you wouldn't mind pouring in our apples into our pie crust. And I'm going to take that spoon and kind of guide them in. Then we're going to take our top crust. Lay it over top so that we can see all our pretty pumpkins. I'll do the first one and you guys can do the next. You're gonna dip your fingers, put a little water on the back of these, and we'll even have another pumpkin on each side. And don't worry if you overlap a bit, that's fine. So water goes on the back. And then you just simply lay it down onto the pie. Beautiful. And so we're going to get our fingers around and we're simply going to pinch our dough. And we're just going to paint the top of this with heavy cream. And while you guys get busy doing that, giving me a nice surface, 
Guess what's going on top? I don't know. More sugar. More sugar. You got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> More sugar on top. And that heavy cream just gives that sugar something to hold on to. Happy, Happy fall, fall y'all. We, we did, did it. it. Our first apple pie. You guys did an amazing job and just for good measure, because it might not be sweet enough, we're going to add a little salted caramel drizzle to the top.